Ladies and gentlemen, this is a YouTube show in which you are brought Slot Machine Sunday, Money Cards Monday, Tic Tac Tuesday, Whammy Mania Wednesday, Thundercracker Thursday, and Flinging Dice Friday and Saturday Superstar Arcade. Also, wrestling news from Raw, NXT 2.0, AEW Dynamite, NXT UK, Impact Wrestling, SmackDown and 205 Live, and AEW Rampage, and special episodes from Road and Up, Cyber Swaggin, and the Philosophies of Lee McLeese. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the YouTube show of fun, of knowledge, strategy, luck, and daring, and mental shenanigans. This is WEML TV Channel 77. And now here's the host of the show, live from New Bedford, Massachusetts. It is none other than Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Wonderful Announcer, sir. Well, hello there. This is the Episodic ch uh, Channel Vlog Show presented to you by your friendly neighborhood sweet bumbling ball for raver. Meaning I've appeared on the following episode, uh, uh, made one appearance in the following four StreamYard community podcast shows created by my friends over at Discord community. And but here's the thing, two of the four I have am I am a regular panelist of. So, the two that, um, I'll start with the two that I made at least one appearance of, but I'm not a regular pot. Uh, panelist of that would be the Bumbling Bozos variety program every Saturday night and nine on the Ibar Bro Studios YouTube channel, and <clears throat> and uh, and both of us on the sofas every Monday afternoon at 5 p.m. on the Mr. Garrison 86 YouTube channel. This coming Monday, it's both of us 200th episode. So, uh, Congratulations to the both of boys on that. But I'm one of five, uh, six panelists of the Rent and Rate podcast every Thursday night at 8 on the Brandon Martin YouTube channel. And also um, also one, four, one of four regular uh, panelists of the two uh, uh, soon to be uh, revived Two Sweet Wrestling podcast uh, run uh, on the uh, Elite JC TV channel run by our, our friend uh, Joseph Kumia Jr., who has yet to determine the days and time that he'll revive the podcast. If I get any information, all that. Bum also the five time, five time, what? Five time, can you dig it, sucker? Because you can't see me. Bowling Bows, those Bozy Awards nominee 2021, will I be a nominee this year? Who knows for sure? Also, um, my, also, um, this YouTube channel vlog show was once known as the People's Lima, aka TPL. And second season was known as EML 77 TV. My name is Eric Lima, and you're watching WEML TV Channel 77, episode 1328. Friday, June 24, 2022, 1 35 p.m. And the game has not been in yet. Um, in fact, it's on a way, it's on its way here. Um, once I do that, I will deliver, uh, I will do uh, Cyber Swaggin. But I got some huge news. Um, this news would change the, the face and fate of this. Uh, YouTube channel, uh, first and foremost. This will be my last Impact Wrestling, because I'm doing the Impact Wrestling, uh, Impact Wrestling Event Center, because next, because I usually do them on Fridays, because I'm unable to watch Impact, because we don't have Access TV anymore. Um, I usually watch it the next day, and I usually do a report afterwards on the Event Center. This will be my final Event Center, because next week, it is official. Our house will start to be deleted next week, July the first. That means throughout hope that means everything should be over by the twenty second of July. Hopefully that will that, and hopefully that will give me um, some some time to come back to rant and rave at that point. So uh, so June the thirtieth will be my last day at rant and rave until when until the deleting has started. Why am I saying it? Because uh, my unfortunately. Where I'm going, they're not gonna have much internet access, and my phone is not gonna do much for me. And I have to save battery on my phone and all that, and, and out and out of respect. So, unfortunately, that's the way we stand right now. Uh, so, because of everything going over, uh, because of everything needing to be deleted, um, unfortunately, this will be my, my last, like I said, Impact Wrestling Event Center until. Um, until the letting is over, so uh, I do apologize ahead of time. I know this is going to be very, very difficult. So that means 
Um, the Flinging Dice Friday, the High Rollers, on the next couple of episodes, will be my last as well. It is not easy um, doing this, so I'm probably not going to be able to bring you all the uh, wrestling content that I usually do, the event center content. So that means, unfortunately, tomorrow, Saturday, Superstar K will be my final as well. So, yeah, everything is happening and changing. Everything's beyond my control. I do apologize to all, all everybody, all my subscribers and everybody about this. This is, um, this is some, the situation that has um, happened beyond our control, unfortunately. And this is the way. You know, it's going to take two to three weeks for for this to be deleted, unfortunately. Even though um, the kids don't longer long live with us. Yeah. So. Uh, it's going to be really, really tough, and I do apologize to each and every one of you out there. Um, this was something, you know, I don't want. I don't want to do this, to be honest. I don't want to leave. But the good news is, my channels will still be up. So if you guys still want to watch my videos, you can. All right. Uh, all my socials will still be up as well. I mean, I'm not deleting anything. You know, I'm not leaving the internet for good. It's just like two to three weeks. Um, like I said, is that on on the on. I don't have that ability to bring you all the content that I usually normally do, but once once the deal ending is over and once everything is straightened out, it will be back. I will be back, and believe me, brand new show, brand new gig. I'm kind of looking forward to it. So, uh, so, so I'm just you know, listen, listen, guys, we're gonna need patience, patience. Not just be patient with me, and I need to be patient with you. If you be patient with me, I will be patient with you. I don't want to do anything and make any rash decisions or hard decisions if things get heated. All right? That's the way I'm going to be, and I'm going to try to stay calm. It's not going to be very easy for me not doing anything, not bringing you any content. This is that you guys need to you know, relax, breathe. I will be back. All right? It's just like it's two or three weeks. Hopefully... You know, if they if they go quick about it and do it, fine. But like I said, not like I said, it won't be easy. And then I'm probably gonna need an extra week to, uh, you know, set some stuff and everything else and uh, arrange some things as well. And uh, it has not been like I said, life's not been easy around here at, um, for the past seven months, eight months, um, nine. So it's. Uh, yeah, past nine months since October of last year, things have went topsy turvy in our lives. So uh, I just ask for everyone's support and patience, please. And that's what I want to do. Okay, I don't want anybody making demands while I'm off the internet because that's how I am. All right, let's check out Impact uh, Slam Anniversary Fallout. On no more, decided to become a crunch of bunch of crybabies on Impact. Decided, well, we didn't lose any. You know, Eddie Edwards whines and cries as usual. I don't know why Alicia Edwards married the guy. He's a crybaby. He's probably still sore that Celtics lost to the Warriors. Hey, listen, I'm sore Celtics lost to the Warriors, too. I don't take it out on, on the cameraman and the, take his camera and all that crap. I don't believe him. And then he blames PCO. Dude, PCO is like 50 some odd years old. Why do you want to blame the guy? Jesus, I feel bad for you. And then Vincent decided to interview and said, Hey, listen, let's chill out. Let's talk about Tracy Brooks and D'Lo Brown and Earl Hebner getting in the way of things. America's Most Wanted interrupted on No More. And they said, hey, listen. You guys shut your mouth. Basically, just shut your mouth. Stop complaining. You know, we're the ones that made it in the impact. And then the good, and as they were ready to fight, the Good Brothers showed up. And and then also everybody started fighting. Numbers are not in their favor. Briscoe's came in and so. But Chris Harris, um, due to, uh, he had to retire early because of injuries and all that he made a promise to his family so uh the briscoes get involved let's see what happens alicia edwards confronts giselle shaw about coming you weren't there for me against masa slamovich and giselle shaw is going to need a partner but it's not going to be you basically it was just a short-lived alliance between the two i don't know more confronts scott the amore he said hey you know what i'll make a 10-man tag Again, at against all odds, it'll be you guys versus the Good Brothers, the Briscoes, and James Storm. But tonight it will be a six-man tag. It will be Taven, Bennett, and Edwards against uh, James Storm and the Briscoes. So, you guys can beat the heck out of each other. Great. Me and Yem took on Chelsea Green, and Deanna Perrazzo was joining on commentary. Come to find out that uh, Deanna Perrazzo was getting married in the fall, so and chose Chelsea Green as her matron of honor. And then she tried to interfere in the match against Yem. Mickey James gets involved, even up the score. 
And then distracted Chelsea Green. Me AM picked up the victory with the eat defeat. So we got that. Uh, Gmail interviews the influence, and Giselle Shaw interrupts him. Say, "Hey, listen, you need a partner. I'll be there." Oh, I saw I have an imagination. He's like, "Listen, if you can take out Rosemary, we'll consider it." So, so there's that. Uh, tag team action: Boo Pinder Gujar and Shark Boy went up against Zicky Dice and Johnny Swinger, and it was a heck of a matchup. And then Gujar and Shark Boy did end up picking up the victory. VD, VBD, Violent by Design came out. Uh, only Diener and Doring. We haven't seen Eric Young. So I beat up all four guys and then call out Josh Alexander. Josh Alexander comes out and starts getting into Diener's face and all. And so does, he got into Do uh, Doring's face as well. Then they started attacking Josh Alexander. Security and referees come out. You know, Doring was earning all the securities. And then all of a sudden, the referees you know, said, Listen, dude, gets the back. And Diener, go, and Diener tells him, Listen, enough. I got this. Go. The, it's only impromptu matchup happened. It was a scheduled matchup, but it's impromptu. And so Josh Alexander and, Co and Cody Diener went at it, and Josh Alexander ended up b picking up the victory. <clears throat> Gian Miller interviewed uh, Frankie Kazarian, and Kazarian says, well, now that's out of the way, our matchup that we're supposed to have got ruined by honor and more. Let's do it again. One more time against Sa uh, Saban. Jordan Grace cut a promo on, on being a champion, thanked her four opponents. Tasha Steele starts laughing at that and said, Hey, listen, if you can beat Savannah Evans, you get shot. Simi Callahan went up against the uh, the co-winner of the 2022 Gut Check, uh, Impact Gut Check, uh, Jack Price. Callahan won the matchup with the pile driver. And then Moose attacks Callahan post matchup. The Briscoes, Good Brothers, and A and W talk to each other and say, Let's go out there. We got you. Good Brothers says we got your backs and all that. And then Chris Harris goes. It was about to go out there with him, and James Stokes goes, where are you going? I said, I'm going to go out there with you. Now, you stay back here. You made a promise to your wife and kids. You made a promise to your family. You won't wrestle anymore. Please. Am I your brother? Yeah. Well, listen, stay back here. Chris Harris goes, fine. Then Callahan was looking for DeMore to see if he can make a matchup, and he runs to Gail Kim. Gail Kim says, I saw what happened out there. Listen, any kind of, how are we going to end this thing? And I, 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 let him go beyond Monster's Ball. He says, and then Tim Callahan says, I got a call from an old friend. He says, how about this Ravens clockwork Orange House of Fun match against Moose? And that could happen at, at, against Lodge Gale. Kim says, you got it. <clears throat> and and the six-man tag, the trios match at James Stone, the Briscoes versus uh, Eddie Edwards and the OGK that is Mike Taylor and Matt ben and Mike Bennett with uh, Maria Canales in her corner, in their corner. And uh, they took advantage of the situation. Uh, OGK, OGK and Edwards won the matchup, and then King, Kenny King, Vincent, and PCO came out after the matchup to attack uh, James Stone, the Briscoes, and the Good Brothers tried to help out, but in the end, the OGK, and they've injured, injured the Briscoes as well, and it seems like to me, that could change the face of Against All Odds. We'll find out for sure what's going on there. So, that is all the time we have on the show, episode 1,320 eight of the show and like i said this is my last impact wrestling um impact wrestling event center um as you know starting next friday july 1st our house is going to be deleted not that easy but however not that it's not that easy um gonna be something else trust me so it it isn't uh it isn't gonna be uh you know, it isn't going to be an easy transition, but, however, it'll be well worth it in the end, all right? So, until then, peace and love throughout your lives and the blessings of the Lord Jesus Christ from him through me to you, all right? I will see you in the next episode of WEML-TV, Channel 77. Peace!